So I was working on a project and I wanted to make an inside drop shadow and I realized I never made a video about how to do something like this. There are multiple ways of doing it. If you are trying to do this and you look up the different nodes, you'll see that there is a drop shadow node, but it's kind of like an outside drop shadow node. I'll show you the difference between the two. It's not that difficult. If I jump over here, this is the element that I was working on. It's kind of like a lower thirds. And the idea here is that I wanted the red to be like a mesh and you see the gray behind. So this is the layout. I'm just using um, the different shape layers here. I've kind of gone over a couple times with a shape renderer and then it's just going to a solid uh, element and they're just pretty much laid on top. So that's kind of what I had. And then over here, it's going to be the same exact look, but then I'm going to add in that drop shadow. And one thing that you'll notice looking at this, it kind of makes it look like the uh, shapes are on top of the red, right? Because the, the drop shadow is behind the element. So that kind of doesn't sell the look of the shapes being uh, cut into the red and then the gray being behind. So how would we go about doing this? So we have the same exact layout here, right? And I'll quickly go through it here. We have all of our little uh, shapes and then we have down here our shapes but now we need to add that extra internal shadow. So to do that, what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're going to be grabbing a background and this is just a normal background. But the difference is, is in this background, we're gonna come over into settings and we're going to apply mask inverted. So what that's going to do is it's going to take these shapes here and it's just going to cut out what's visible and keep what isn't visible from the previous uh, mask that was brought in, right? So this is the element that we have. And then we're just going to add a very light blur onto everything, right? Just a very light blur. A blur pretty much will pull things in more. So if we take a look at this, like this area right here, and we add the blur in, it's pulling the, these colors in more to mix. And then this is where we're going to really be doing all the magic here is we're grabbing this clean shape. Actually, these shapes are kind of difficult to see like this. So we'll just make them brighter for now. Um, yeah, so we're, we're taking these clean shapes and we're using those shapes to cut out this blur, right? So the only thing that should be showing is anything that's in the space of these shapes. So doing that, now we get these little things, right? Remember how the blur is kind of pulled in a little bit? So then to get it to be in the top corner, all we're going to do is just adjust the center position just a little bit so it's just in the top corner and not so much down at the bottom. And we're just grabbing a background just so we have more of an alpha channel to work with. And then we're just layering that on top of this element here. And doing that, now we have that little bit. Now this is kind of strong here. You could come over here and pull this back a little bit, but uh, with the colors that we were working on before, it actually looks really good. So that's how you would do that. It's not super difficult. Um, just knowing how to do it, I think is uh, uh, half the battle there. But yeah, that's pretty much a very easy way to <laughs> make a internal drop shadow. I think that's what it's called at least, I don't know. Um, but yeah, a little quick, little quick video for today. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, see ya.